little yoga goddesses, I'm Margie Pargy. If you've never been to this Ariel Yoga channel, I recommend you hit that little red subscribe button and make sure you get my videos every Wednesday. This is a very special edition this week. I'm so excited to highlight all of my girls that did the Ariel Yoga Goddess training. We have 25 girls from around the world that were involved in this training, did amazing things with their social media, with their business. They created a launch for their aerial yoga business. I really wanted to highlight one specific girl that really embodied what it meant to be an aerial yoga goddess. So stay tuned, I will be announcing who that is and you will see some of her amazing content. It's so hard to pick a winner because all these girls are just it, it feels so good to be in a tribe full of women who are so similar. It's like the most amazing feeling that I've had in a long time. Just as much as this training changed them, it changed me deep, deep down. It really gave me confidence in my ability as a teacher trainer and to really build this, this dream business that I've been wanting to create for years and years and years. I'm going to show you guys some of the girls and then I'm going to get to my specific girl that I chose as the winner for the Aerial Yoga Goddess Training 2017. <laughs> herself it's it's so very magical it's beautiful and it embodies what it is as an aerial yoga goddess she was really involved in the live q and a's and put her heart out there for everyone as an example to just be more in touch she's going to be giving spiritual guidance and lifestyle guidance to these women in her studio it's going to be broken down into teens young adults and older women and she's going to help each group of women in a different way to really find that goddess in them and teach them aerial yoga and it's just her videos just show this this goddess mother lifestyle that is so beautiful and I really felt a special connection to her. Videos were very, very high quality and that's exactly what I was looking for. So Jade, congratulations and you guys check out her video that we've put together. Namaste. <laughs> body in line like a preventative thing so a smart way to, to be healthy instead of paying for chiropractor then 
see if I can prevent that. <laughs> I was at a fitness class. And the instructor stopped teaching, so I decided I would become the teacher. I went to a fitness training course, and they had these hammocks hanging up. What? Oh, no. In the studio. I didn't know what they were. <laughs> but I was like, what is that? And they said, oh, it's like aerial fitness, aerial yoga. And I was like, that is so cool. I just finished taking a booty bar fitness course and I already had it on my list. I'm doing that. That's what I want to do. So I took the training, anti-gravity, and uh, course one and two and fell in love with it. I had never been in a hammock upside down before at all. And the moment I flipped upside down, my back aligned, it went crack, crack, snap, crack, a pop, and it was awesome. I fell in love with it, all the benefits extra benefits that you can get through aerial just increasing whatever you can do on the ground and then taking it a step further and the natural high of being upside down compressing your body and letting all those endorphins go and cleaning your body it just feels amazing so on my journey from desk job to freedom from desk job um, I also took a 200 hour yoga teacher training and I had no idea where to take it but I landed on karma teachers in Vancouver I wanted to take something out of the city have something different so I went full intensive one month and that's how their studio is set up it's free or by donation and the founder why he set that up he said well, when I came to Vancouver, I was homeless for a little while. I had nowhere safe to go. And so when someone's ready, if they need a safe place to be and then add yoga into that, then they can find themselves in a, a better way. And yoga can help any, any spiritual path. For me, when I went there, <laughs> For me, when I went there, what I found was community and a sense of being open without having masks. We'll get to them in a minute. Being open without having masks, so it's really hard for me to connect with people because I'm open all the time. And when I see other people have masks, well, I don't connect with them. I don't want anything to do with them until they're ready to be open as well. So that sense of community um, is what I realize is missing in my life. So that's what I want to bring to my city is it just that just a leadership in community, a leadership role. And uh, we're almost there. We ordered some equipment. Next up is ordering some hammocks. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an inspiring journey. And I have two taglines. One is brighten someone's day. Brighten your smile and you'll brighten someone's day. And the other one is Lola. Love all, um, love all. Peace out. All done. <laughs> Ready?